Hey ladies, let me fix my light. Hey ladies, how are y'all doing? Hey ladies, how y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of the Esther series. Adjust your crown. We left off with Queen Vashti. We talked about her purpose and we talked about her purpose was to make room for Queen Esther. A lot of times it might not be um, who you think it's going to be. and It might not be the the queen that's sitting on the throne already. It might not be your sister that's living in the big house. Sometimes God use the lowly, the unknown, to make his purpose come into a light. And that is what happened in the book of Esther. So we're just going to dive right into it. I told y'all in the early, in um, chapter one, and I guess that's what I'm doing. I guess it seems like I'm going from chapter to chapter. So if that happens, fine. If God di directs me to skip a chapter or whatever. So, but right now I'm going from chapter to chapter. So in chapter one, I told you that Queen Vashti's purpose was to make room for the next queen. Queen Vashti couldn't save the Jews. Because that, that wasn't her call. That wasn't her purpose. But that is what Esther was called to do. Esther was a Jew. Esther had no parents. Her parents had died. She was being raised by her uncle Mordecai. And that was her secret. So how many of you believe that sometimes the very thing that... Uh, that people look down on, the very thing that we're scared to talk about, the very thing that we don't want to open up about how we grew up or what family we come from, that is the very thing that God will use to elevate you, that God will use to expose you for his glory. After Queen Vashti was removed from the kingdom, the king commanded that all the virgins come to the palace, and that was the start of it. That was a start. It doesn't matter. Again, it don't matter how you grew up. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter who, who your parents were. You don't think that you come from a good family, a well-to-do family, a rich family. It all going to play out according to God's plan. God has his plan. And I want to tell you, when God's hand is on something, it doesn't matter how it starts, but it's going to be manifested. And it's going to come with struggle. It, it's, you're not going to walk in this thing just all uh, highly, highly and ha, ha, ha. It's going to come with struggle. Because if we didn't have struggle, we wouldn't need God. So, let's continue. The virgins go through this process. He called all the virgins to come to, that's in you know, the villages and tell them to come in the palace. They come in and they go through this purification process. And this purification process is a year. Six months, you're being uh, ba um, with bathed with oil and myrrh. And then six months, you just got to be sinning and perfumed for one night. One night with the king. You go through a purification process for an entire year just for one night. And I know you got all the women up in there getting all beautified and sent it down, perfumed and oiled down. Everybody trying to compete. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? You in a place, a, str a strange place, never been, and you're around strange people, and you basically compete to be acknowledged and accepted. But the Bible says that Esther found favor with everyone. Listen, before you even get to your purpose, God's going to already create your path. Esther had already found favor with the with the women that was in there, with the uh, the servants that was in there. People was already in awe of Esther before she even got to the king. When God hand is in it, when God hand is in it, when God hand is in something, He will give you grace and favor 
to get whatever it is that he accomplished, his plan. So Queen Esther became Queen Vashti's successor. So everything was already planned out. We always, I said in chapter one, that's just one of those books that you don't see, you don't see God or you don't see Jesus nowhere in the, in that scripture, but you can see his hand is at work. You can see it, what it, what he's doing. He's placing the pieces. He's putting her in position, and that is what God do. Look at your life, and look at the things to how you moved, and how God has allowed you to move, and wh where why you uh, are, why you where you at, where you are, or why you are where you at, Mississippi. Okay, so <laughs> so whenever God's hand is in something, you best believe. You're going to move just the way God wants you to move. So it doesn't matter what background you come from, who your parents are, if you're an orphan, if you're an abandoned, if you even never knew your parents. God will use those secrets. He will use that very thing that you're ashamed of or that you don't want nobody to know. He'll use that very thing to raise you up. For the queen that you are. He'll use that very thing. So you can sit back. And God hand is on me. So it don't matter if I don't have uh, a parents. It don't matter if I'm a Jew. It don't matter if I'm black. It don't matter if I'm a woman. I am a queen. And let me adjust my crown. God can use these secrets. To start you a new life. And allow you to overcome struggles. Her struggle, living without no parents, being raised by her uncle, and then having to come in and deny who she was. Could it be? I can't say that I'm I can't say that I'm a Jew. But see, it was all to work in his plan because Esther was gonna come back and make the king save the Jews, her people. He will allow you to overcome struggle that will lead you to his divine purpose and success. My queens, I say to you today, do not fret. It doesn't matter where you where you started at. It doesn't matter um, who your family is, what you got, whether you were raised rich, poor, didn't, uh, didn't know your family, your family abandoned you. It doesn't matter. God will use that very thing to raise you up and call you blessed. He will use that very thing. Don't grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap a harvest if you faint not. He will use that very thing to raise you up. And, and and make you allow you to stand up and be, be the queen that you are. So adjust your crown. Adjust your crown in your season. Sometimes you might not be able to tell all your secrets. Sometimes you might not be able to embrace embrace the people that you your your people that you know that you was called to. But in due season, you will reap if you faint not. Esther went through a whole year of being purified. And sometimes we're not even willing to go a whole month in the presence of God. We got to be more intentional. We got to be more focused. We got to have more patience. In, in the process, in the purification process, your crown is slowly moving back on your head. Your, your, it might tilt a little bit. It might slide back a little bit like a lace front. But adjust that crown. I love you, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am having a ball, ball, ball teaching this Esther series. And I speak to you. Every woman that's watching this, every queen that's watching this, you will have an Esther anointing. You will be able to go in places that you have not been in. You will be able to go in places and the grace and the favor of God will lead you and guide you and grant you favor. I speak these things to you. God bless you. I pray that something was said that will encourage you, that inspire you to know that even though you don't see God, he is moving. 
He is moving. He is moving in our lives. Bless you. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I will see you next week. Bye.